Bad news for Facebook as they keep spiraling down the wrong path when CrossFit closed down both their Facebook and Instagram page, which is huge. As a guy who actively trains, although I don't do CrossFit, I'm well aware of how popular and big it is around the world. And for those of you who don't know, CrossFit is a branded form of fitness training with tons of affiliates around the world and is almost a, as big a brand as Nike and uh, Coca-Cola and anything you can think of which means that them pulling out of Facebook and Instagram could be a very bad sign for the platform. Let's first read their statement and go over what it means. Recently, Facebook deleted without warning or explanation the Benting 7-day meal plan user group. The group has 1.65 million users who post testimonials and other information regarding the efficacy of a low-carbohydrate, high-fat diet. While the site has subsequently been reinstated also without warning or explanation, Facebook's action should give any serious person reason to pause, especially those of us engaged in activities contrary to prevailing opinion. We also have a list of their complaints why they shut down their Facebook and Instagram page. 1. Facebook collects and aggregates user information and shares it with the state and federal authorities as well as security organizations from other countries. 2. Facebook collaborates with government security agencies and on massive citizen surveillance programs such as PRISM. 3. Facebook censors and removes user accounts based on unknown criteria and at the request of third parties, including government and foreign government agencies. 4. Facebook collects, aggregates and sells user information as a matter of business. Its business model allows governments and businesses alike to use its algorithmically conjured advertising categories as sophisticated data mining and surveillance tools. 5. Facebook news feeds are censored and crafted to reflect the political leanings of Facebook's utopian socialists while remaining vulnerable to misinformation campaigns designed to stir up violence and prejudice. 6. Facebook, as a matter of business and principle, has weak intellectual property protections and is slow to close down IP theft accounts. 7. Facebook has a poor security protocols and has been subject to the largest security breaches of user data in history. And finally, 8. Facebook is acting in the service of food and beverage industry interest by deleting the accounts of communities that have identified the corrupted nutritional science responsible for unchecked global chronic disease. In this, it follows the practices of Wikipedia and other private platforms that host public content but retain the ability to remove or silence without the opportunity for real debate or appeal information and perspective outside a narrow scope of belief or thought. In this case, the approved perspective has resulted in the deaths of millions through preventable diseases. Facebook is thus complicit in the global chronic disease crisis. For this reason, CrossFit Incorporated has placed Facebook and its associated properties under review and will no longer support or use Facebook's services until further notice. Now this is not a surprising move uh, from uh, CrossFit. If you know the brand and if you know the founder, you would know that he is an avid libertarian, which is why you see number 5 listed in their list of complaints, which basically says that Facebook censoring everything that is not, not left-leaning or doesn't fit Facebook's utopian socialist agenda. Now, if you follow the news, you would know that 15 million users already pulled out of Facebook in the last two years, and most of them are young millennials and Gen Z uh, users because of the censorship, and that's why you see them flocking more towards uh, platforms like TikTok, which is relatively uncensored, and that's why you can see a lot of edgy, funny content out, out there that is usually banned on platforms like Facebook, uh, Twitter, sometimes YouTube, and for sure Twitch. So that's why a lot of people are moving out of Facebook because their censorship is pretty rough. I myself got banned a lot of times on the channel's Facebook page. And uh, although Facebook uh, is growing in, uh, as you can see in the first quarter of this year, they grew by like 2 billion users, if I recall correctly. But still, those users are actually a lot of old people and uh, bot accounts, so it doesn't bode well for their company when a lot of the young crowd are pulling out of their platform and moving towards Instagram, which is also Facebook-owned, but 
is also in danger as you can see by crossfitting pulling out of Instagram as well because Instagram is closely tied to Facebook. Now CrossFit isn't the only company to pull out of Facebook recently, you can also look at Playboy which for the younger crowd is basically an old nudie magazine uh, that shut down their uh, Facebook page uh, in March of this year and if you look to a year back you can also see Elon Musk shutting down the Tesla Facebook page a year ago and uh, the SpaceX page which I don't think they ran themselves but it was also closed. So a lot of companies are slowly pulling out of Facebook and uh, as you can see right now also from Instagram which like I said doesn't bode well for Facebook. Facebook are also facing uh, FTC fines for $3 billion which they are resolving right now to deal with it and they are also on the calls for uh, repressing conservative news as they listed on uh, number 5 of the list because they now have 8 agents list which basically in this list you would find quote unquote eight agents like Milo Yiannopoulos, Candace Owens and a lot of other characters who Facebook don't ally with politically. So that's why you see CrossFit pulling out of them because if you would read more into it you would know that the founder of CrossFit is an avid libertarian and he probably uh, staunchly believes in freedom of speech which Facebook is contrary to that especially with how they censor uh, conservative voices on their platforms. So what do you guys think? This is the first of many companies pulling out or just um, a one-time thing. Like I said, it's not the first time and Facebook is really spiraling, spiraling down right now. But for those of you that followed Facebook from the beginning, you would know that Mark Zuckerberg is a very smart guy and he knows he, he has a vision for the company and I don't think he would run it down to the floor on, on purpose unless he is looking for governments to actually regulate them so they can allow more voices on their platforms and uh, therefore advertising ad advertisers won't pull out of their platforms because when the government forced them to put everybody on their, uh, on their platforms um, they won't act as publishers and they won't have to censor voices that their advertisers don't like, which is probably what they and Twitter are looking for right now, which could mean well for both us and the company's future. 